up, boys and girls? Back by popular demand. Hope everything is fine with you. Hope you had a great day yesterday. And that today be as profitable as yours was yesterday. Hopefully it was profitable in every sense. I just finished working out and I'm beat dead. At 54 is every day an uphill battle up the mountain. And here we are, quitting ain't in my vocabulary. That means quitting is not an option ever. I hope you follow the same guidelines. The minute you decide that you can't quit something, you're done. You quit it already. That cannot be in your vocabulary ever. My opinion, obviously. Take it or leave it. It is worth what it is. Well, keep telling you guys, this is probably a bodybuilder's best friend during a workout. And obviously a lot of guys would say that, you know, you have to have other things too. I have my protein and my creatine throughout my workout. I start maybe five minutes prior and drink it all the way through, all the way to the end. And uh, it does me well at 54. It keeps me anabolic at all times. But there's guys here, you know, they're pretty special. Satiating, they're pretty special. Fiber, good stuff. Anyhow, yesterday I was reading an article one more time by Brad Schoenfeld. And the article was based on a study that uh, he made regarding, regarding the uh, best rep range for hypertrophy. And I guess the idea was that, uh, you know, today there is this preference for 45, 30 second breaks, bam, 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 on the go, age high T at all times. And um, I guess Brent wanted to bring uh, a little bit of perspective back to basics, um, which is pretty good because way back then, you know, we we did things a lot simpler. And uh, obviously, I'm not saying progress is not good, no. I'm saying that uh, there's a lot of confusion now with uh, young lifters wanting to find out what is the best rep range for growth. And what I found out throughout the years is that the best rep range is the one that works for you at that particular moment based on everything else that's going on on your routine. And your routine is to have proper dieting, meaning proper nutrition, proper protein intake, proper rest, yeah? All that is very important. And of course, proper working out to generate protein synthesis at the workout as well as with the food you take. So uh, once you sacrifice the amount of time you rest, you are actually sacrificing the amount of time the amount of weight you can lift, obviously. So less time, less rest, less weight. More time, more rest, more weight, obviously. The rep range can vary anywhere from 2 to 15, maybe even 25 or higher, depending on your exact goals at the particular project that you're working on. If you set up a goal to uh, have a certain workout for 90 days and you are working out during 90 days, pursuing certain goals within the, the project that you created, the rep range has to be adjusted towards those goals. If you want a faster paced workout, obviously what you need to do is have less rest, but your load is going to be sacrificed. The amount of load that you can push throughout the, the, the workout is going to be sacrificed based on the amount of time you rest. That's obvious. So it comes down to that the best rep range is the one that fits you best for that particular project that you design for yourself and that you're following. Remembering that a lot of guys want to change projects immediately. You know, they go uh, two or three, four or five workouts. Ah, this is not working, man. Let me try this, let me try that. Once you start a project, you need to be able to have the measurement of your progress. If you cannot measure your progress, you have a problem. In order to measure your progress, you need to give your project time 
to develop and to yield results or not, or maybe results, but not the way you wanted them to be. Adjusting this accordingly after you have been able to measure your progress is very important. If you do not have the time necessary to be able to measure your project, you are not going to have the right decision tools in order to prepare a better project for yourself the next time around. One thing, um, I have tried everything, basically everything regarding rep range. And every time I had my rep range um, outside of my total goal for that project or my goals for that project, I had a problem. My rep range didn't match my total goals for the project. They were out of sync and that didn't create a project that was maximized for return. You want the maximum return for your investment, okay? which is your time and your money and your nutrition, everything else that goes with it, and is not cheap. So maximizing the return on your project is very important. And if you're going to decide a rep range that is not in sync with the rest of your project, then you have a problem. So if you are working pyramids, right, and you are increasing the weight as you decrease the rep range, what happens is, you need to have, if you're going to push more load, you need to have a higher uh, time to, you know, to rest. You need to be able to rest more. If you are going to push a lesser load, then you need less rest. However, it is important, in my opinion, throughout the cycles of working out that you do, okay, cycles of different projects that you go through, that you vary, okay, the type of rep range according to your project goals. So the idea is to change projects once in a while throughout the year so you can attain different goals within that project. Oh, okay, I'm gonna gain some weight or I'm gonna go on bulking, I'm gonna have higher calories, I'm going to have more power, then I'm going to rest more and I'm gonna push more load and I'm gonna go on a pyramid style, uh, you know, set, uh, uh, set up and and then, boom, that's my goal. And I'm going to rest as much as possible at night. And I'm going to eat as much as possible. And I'm going to have a controlled bulky. I'm not going to be too out of control with my calories. But I'm going to be high enough so I can have some nice gains and be strong. Rep range is going to be probably less than anywhere from 12 to 6 with a pyramid and a higher load. And you're going to need to have more rest anywhere from 2 to 4 minutes. That's what I would do if I were you. I have tried everything. It's the best thing that works. And obviously, way back when in the 70s, that's the last century for you guys, um, that's what we did. You know, we worked out rep ranges. Uh, you know, you can see the guys at Gold's Gym back in Venice. That's how they did it. They cycled the whole project throughout the year, different projects, different goals, uh, getting ready for competition, getting ready for Mr. Olympia you know, during the bulking season, different types of style working out, and of course, different rep rests. Right, and even intra rep rest, intra set rest. I mean, if you are doing 8, 12, 15, and you're gonna rest two or three seconds and pause it and then go continue that, that set, it's very valid. But we're talking about the quantity of repetitions per set during a given workout. And don't forget, three to four minutes with the, with the right uh, volume, with the right range of sets as well, which is important, uh, generates a pretty good uh, results. I promise you that. I'm 54. It's been working for me for a while. And obviously, we're going to try to keep this up as far as we can. I'm not sure how long I can go, <laughs> but we're going to try it all the way to 120. 120 is the goal healthy. Perhaps, uh, you know, 225s at 120. <laughs> well, have got some, uh, some way to go here and get ready. But well, we're going to try. But anyhow, guys, this is what it is, right? Rep range, don't forget, you don't have to be in the frenzy to be rush, rush, rush all the time. You can take your, your time, rest enough so you can push nice loads. And uh, obviously maintain proper form, balance at all times. That's what I would do if I were you. And every time I use my belt, every time, I do not go working out without my belt ever, ever. And of course, I don't use it for abs or back, lower back, that is. Okay, man, we'll be back tomorrow by popular demand, I hope. Until then, stay safe, be good, guys and girls, obviously. I say men and girls, obviously. 
be safe, stay good, do good, okay, stay out of trouble, and support our troops, support our troops and our law enforcement. They're the good guys that keep us safe. See you tomorrow. Peace.